If last week's meme video didn't kill me, today surely will. Just, God, this quarantine is just killing me. Just put me on my measure already. I'm gone so mad. Did you know you could wear underwear four times before washing it? I don't know how you got to that number. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoy watching our content, show us some love by liking the video and ring the bell to make sure you get notified whenever we drop new content. We appreciate you all. What's going on you guys? My name is Cisco and today I'm going to be taking a look at some gun builds. Some should be very Gucci and some should be very cursed. Either way, I'm going to be reviewing them, most likely roasting them, just for you guys' entertainment during this quarantine. And I hope this one finally puts me out of my misery. Just a reminder to you guys, Airsoft GI is still shipping out and processing orders. The quarantine has impacted our shipping time, so please know that we are doing the best that we can to get your orders out to you as fast as possible. If you're having trouble contacting us, please reach out to us here and we'll get in contact with you as soon as possible. Now the images that I'm about to take a look at, I have never seen before. Boaz has compiled a list for me to take a look at them and we'll see where this video goes. We are currently accepting submissions from you guys, so if you want me to roast your builds, send it to us on Instagram. And before we get started, for today's eye candy, we have the Classic Army ARS4 that has been Cerakoted in this lovely Tiffany Blue. And if you're asking why, I'm going to reply with you to, this is a metaphor to today's video. Just because you can do something, doesn't mean you should. All right, so the best thing to do is just to jump right into it. Boaz, bring the pain. All right, let's see our first image here. This is, oh, this is actually really cool. This is a duotone UMP with a, it looks to be just a mock suppressor and an EOTech. This looks pretty cool. Um, nothing cringy about this. this is, I would actually probably run this. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'll give it a, I'll give it a three MOSFETs. Pretty nice. All right. All right, moving on to the next image. What the hell is this? It is a neon green and pink high kappa with a very extended uh, recoil rod, a red trick. It, look, it all looks 3D printed. Got a purple hammer. Is this even an airsoft gun? It looks like a dart gun. I believe the caption said a Cosmo and Wanda build. Is the. Okay, I guess the, the, the trigger would be Timmy Turner then, since it's red. Uh, the, uh, this is. Uh, I'm gonna give this uh, a point. I'm gonna give this 3.12 gram BBs. This is. Make it four. This is, wow, that's something. Is there. There's not even a rail on it. I, make it five. <laughs> yeah, okay. This one hurts. I'm, I'm getting a headache. It's only gonna get worse from here. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty cool. Looks like a, this is an M4 key mod rail. Actually, looks like a Crytac. Um, the red dot's kind of weird. Probably NC Star. Um, the paint is interesting. Uh, looks like they kind of did a rattle can, which is cool. I, I do that a lot. But the, the choice of green, looks like uh, the army, you know those toy, the toy soldier, uh, like green, it looks like that color green, like from, from Toy Story. Uh, very interesting, it looks like it has a base coat of uh, bronze. What's up with what's up with Reddit people having to show their feet in pictures? What, I see, I, I mean, you put, I've seen that, why is that a thing? I, I'm still confused about that, I don't know. Um, overall, it looks like a clean build, it looks like it has a nice armament uh, suppressor on there. Uh, I'll give it a, a two MOSFETs, it's not bad. So now that I'm looking at this image closer, this is one of those images that gets like worse as, as you're looking at it. The paint is like glossy. I see GG iron sights. This is, it's definitely a Mark I Crytac. I don't, I don't think it's in, in FDE, but I think he ruined it by using that green. I take back, what did I give it, a two MOSFETs? I'm, I'm, Replacing it with with a, a 2.2 gram BBs. Point, point one, two gram BBs. That's terrible. And his feet are in the picture. I don't know what that is again. Sorry. Okay, we have an AK-74 with no gas tube. One of those really cheap plastic handguards. Uh, a reflex sight. 
wired adenes. Uh, the wiring looks like it might have a MOSFET. What the hell is this in the front? This is a, is that one of those JG Scorpions? The, the AEPs? No pistol grip. How is that mounted on there? And there's more wiring coming out of the front. Is, would both of them fire at the same time? Is that what this is implying? This is, who the hell thought of this? What the hell? As, as cursed as this image is, I, I, I kind of like it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> the, a long time ago, I wanted to mount a pistol underneath uh, the rail of, of a M4 for no Bruh. reason. I just wanted to have it there. I guess it's kind of like living out the dream kind of, but having it wired together is kind of weird. Um, I don't know, my, my thoughts were having like the master key idea, but this, I'm gonna give this one like eight zip ties as a rating. So I mean, like, you can't, this is, <laughs> why, why, is the, why is the gas tube gone? This is, I will give you kudos on the on the ergonomic AK grip. You don't see too many. Is this a good blowback? No. I can't. No, no, it's, it can't be a gas blowback. There's wire coming out the, the stock. What the hell am I saying? Yeah, I, I feel myself slowly losing brain cells as I'm going down these images. This is this is this is getting bad. Good, good. Hopefully this one's a, a nice one. Okay. Uh, this is a Knight's Armament PDW with the key mod handguard, so I know it's WE. Uh, this is not too bad. I actually like the PDW. Um, I do like it in Flat Dark Earth. I don't like the key mod handguard, though. It's kind of weird. I like the traditional quad rail. They have the TLR. Oh, no. It's, I think that's the TLR mounted to the side with the pressure switch. MP7 iron sights. Kudos to that because I've done that on my... Uh, on my rifles before a BCM grip cool T1 cool because it's gas blowback. I'll give this one four uh, green gas cans Okay, Cisco your break is over. It's only gonna hurt from now on oh, Really? <laughs> oh, God. I already see that there's ten images <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's just get into it Okay, this is a it's LVOA what the hell is going on with this? It's like a sand color pistol grip, and I know that's the Crytek pistol grip. Why the Magwa? What optic is that? The paracord wrap on this is garbage. Who did that? So some type of flashlight. Probably, actually it looks like a Surefire. Not a Surefire, a Streamlight flashlight. AFG2, that's nice. What the hell is this color like sand? They did it to the to the stock, the the mag release, the the bold catch. Why? Ew. And, and then the optic is weird too. I don't I don't like that. I think this image perfectly this... encapsulates when you spend all your money on a gun. But you still want accessories, but have no money. True, very true. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a... I mean, I think it looks better if you just left it slick. To be honest, I mean, the LVOA is sort of meant to do that. True, very true. This is definitely something else. I don't, I don't even want to rate this one. Sorry. I'd say it's like the cheap Springer bag, that little plastic baggie of point twelves. I'd, I'd give him that. Yeah, a bag full of point of point twelves. I'll give him that. Yeah, sorry. Uh, pre press, what is it? Control Alt Z, or Control Alt Delete, and then just start over. <laughs> All right, next meme. I, I was I, I saw it, and then I wanted to put it down. Okay, to diagnose this. There is a little pocket, like a little hooker pistol, <laughs> at the bottom of the gun, or at the bottom of the screen. But completely ignoring that, this chrome bronze Desert Eagle with the extended like front end, with a three to nine scope bipod, 
and a knight's armor and vertical grip. Is that a front sight on the barrel? Boyd! This is. A uh, dude. Uh. Muddy? Mutt? I don't, I don't know what the name is. It's written on the side of the slide. Yeah, that one's cursed. That one's gonna give me nightmares. Um. I'm gonna give you 150 AE round for yourself. Take care of it. Just yeah, that one's bad. Yeah, that one. Wow, that one hurts. And the last and final image we got here is we have a Sig with wood grips. What? Why? Okay, so it has a pirate logo. What is it? The Jolly Roger, right? A logo on there. It has a rubber band. I'm assuming that's good to add texturing to the gun. Um, threaded barrel and protector, that's nice. Surefire, nice. Some random knife, because I don't know why we do that for Airsoft, but we feel the need to include knives with our, I get there's a gun and knives community, but for Airsoft, let, let's not do that. But this makes no sense to me. It's It looks cool, I guess, but like, there's nothing to change on a T26, and I think you should have left it stock. For the cool factor, I'll say it. I'll say it needs uh, one step lift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss. Thank you for the nightmares that I'll have for the next couple of weeks. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, out of everyone I know, you deserve it. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. I wish I stayed in quarantine. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't enjoyed the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. We are accepting fan submissions, so if you have any good or bad airsoft builds, go ahead and send it to us on Instagram right here, and we will be choosing a winner for the most entertaining picture. So stay tuned for that. We are trying to make this a consecutive series, so make sure you subscribe for more content. We upload every Monday and Friday, and we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, I'm not as dead inside. Peace.